Thank you for tuning in to Everything Valves, the channel dedicated to bringing you Everything Valves. In today's video, we will be showing you how to disassemble a trunnion mounted ball valve. Each manufacturer's trunnion ball valve may vary by design, but all trunnion mounted ball valves utilize the same concept. Please note this video is intended for informational purposes only. We have a 3 inch 600 trunnion mounted ball valve. Here you can see the adapter with the adapter bolts. The body, you have a bleeder on the top and one at the bottom, as well as a trunnion here at the bottom. And on top, you have the stem bushing and mounting plate. Body adapter. So you're gonna to wanna to unbolt the body adapter by taking a wrench and unbolting. This is one of the body adapter bolts. You can see the bolt and the nut. You're gonna to wanna to take all of them off. Here's the last one. Now that all the bolts are taken out of the adapter, you're gonna to wanna to wedge apart the adapter and the body using a flathead. Simply unwedge the adapter from the body. Be careful when pulling apart the adapter from the body so not to damage the ball. Here you have the adapter and the body. Looking inside of the body, you can see here the ball's all pretty dirty. Here at the bottom, you have the trunnion, and then on top, you have the stem. This is the adapter here. You can see this is the adapter and body gasket. If you look, the adapter has an O-ring. Body adapter seat ring. Inside of the adapter, you can see the seat ring here. This is the adapter, and this is the actual seat ring itself. You can see the insert there. To remove the seat, you're going to want to push the seat from the back side out this way. So we're going to take our tool and gently tap out from the back, turning it to do it evenly, and then simply pull out the seat. This is the seat ring you can see here. This is the O-ring and this is a fire safe graphite seal. On the back you'll have springs. Inside of the adapter you can see the seat pocket there. Now we're going to move to the trunnion. So the trunnion on this valve has four bolts. We're going to remove all four of these bolts. Here you can see the trunnion and the body. We're going to want to use our flathead and wedge apart the trunnion from the body, gently prying it apart. If you look here on the inside of the body, you can see the trunnion is no longer inside of the ball. There's no trunnion inside of the ball. You need to remove the trunnion in order to remove the ball. So we're going to continue to pull the trunnion out. This is the trunnion here. You can see it's fairly simple. It's got a, a trunnion gasket, a secondary O-ring, and a primary O-ring. This is what actually inserts into the ball here. It goes in and it ball rotates on the trunnion. The ball, we're gonna remove the ball. To remove the ball, you're going to want to make sure the valve is open. And 
once the valve is open you can begin to pull out the ball from the stem slot here you can see the slot in the ball that slides over the stem here inside of the body as you can see you have to make sure to align the slot so the ball comes out there's a slot here at the bottom is the trunnion hole where the trunnion slides in you can see this little bearing inside as well now we're going to look at the mounting plate the mounting plate here has four bolts that we must unloosen here's one that you can see once all four bolts are removed you should be able to pull the mounting plate off of the stem like so this is the four bolts that mount to the body these are for the gear or actuator to mount to the mounting plate now we're going to look at the stem and stem bushing this is the stem bushing here it has an additional two allen bolts here allen head bolts here we're going to want to remove the stem bushing from the body we need to remove these two bolts here from the stem bushing once all the bolts are removed from the stem bushing we want to pull it away from the body so we want to use our tool again to unwedge them we simply pry them apart easy not to damage any o-rings inside you can see the stem there you're going to want to push the stem out of the body push the stem and then here you go this is the stem with the bushing on it you can see the bushing gasket here this is going to be your secondary o-ring here and then your primary o-ring here this is what goes into the ball itself and then you have an anti-static device right here this is the actual stem bushing it actually can remove from the stem here you can see graph oil packing now you have the body the body should be empty nothing inside the body you can see here this is the stem bushing this is the stem slot on the body here nothing inside here you have the trunnion slot nothing's on the inside either all that's left you have is a seat body seat ring to remove the body seat ring simply push it away from this body push it out and there you have your seat your body seat here similar to the adapter seat so here we have an overview of all the parts that were inside of the valve you have your body your body gasket your adapter there now you move down to your ball right here there's your two seat rings with the springs o-rings and graph oil there you have your trunnion with the o-rings and gasket at the bottom this is all the bolting for the adapter the stem bushing and trunnion this is your stem and stem bushing all together with all of the o-rings and gasket and last you have your mounting plate these are all of the components that put the valve together i hope you guys enjoyed today's video please like and subscribe for more valve videos comment down below with any questions you may have thank you for watching and we will see you in the next video